Hi, welcome. It's Jamie Hartley here from Crossfader and I'm guessing you're watching this video because you want to get started as a DJ. Now, what we're going to break down is how you can do just that without any equipment, just using software. What I have downloaded is the Serato DJ Lite software. This is a totally free piece of software to download from Serato DJ's website, which we'll link. Serato DJ is one of the biggest software DJ manufacturers out there. It's been in the industry for a very long time. It's very well trusted and used by some of the world's top DJs. So it's a great place to get started. And available now is an expansion pack for the Serato DJ Lite software, which is $39 called Serato Play. Now $39 is cheaper than any piece of DJ hardware, any controller that you're going to be looking at. It's a good way to kind of get an idea, am I really interested in DJing? Does this excite me? And do I like the basic concept of DJing? Because you're going to get to use the basic features that you need, such as mixing and blending with EQs and a crossfader, up faders, using filters, and using basic effects, all with this expansion pack. What you're going to learn in this video is how this expansion pack works, what the shortcut keys are to access the different features, and then at the end, we've actually linked a performance that I've put together using Serato DJ Lite and Serato Play. So you can get an idea of really how powerful this tool is. Remember, if you like this video, to drop a comment, thumbs up and subscribe. And let's get stuck in to Serato Play and Serato DJ Lite. Here we have Serato DJ Lite installed with the Serato Play $39 expansion pack also activated. Once it's activated, you'll notice the screen looks a bit different to the original Serato DJ Lite software. We've now got this option, which is the crossfader and EQ and filter options now available to show. There are also other options like being able to change the tempo with this adjust here. Um, we've got the loop options as well as up faders for volume control. First thing to note is that we've got a gear icon in this crossfader section. This gear icon allows you to view the keys, the shortcut keys that are all important for when it comes to mixing in a practical way with this expansion. If we have a look now, it can look quite confusing. The best thing to do is probably print screen this and then print it out so you've got a physical copy for while you're practicing and you can then use it as a reference as to what keys map out to what features. It's a bit confusing to get started, but guaranteed once you've been playing on it for a while, you'll feel right at home. Next thing to note is that you can use headphone splitter cable into your um, headphone output to actually send one of the splits to your speakers or your mini rig or whatever setup audio, audio setup that you've got. And then the other split go into some headphones. So if you do this, you'll notice two headphone icons appear and you can preview either the first deck or the second deck. There's also a cue level to balance the level in the headphones um, if you choose. I'm going to turn that off for now because we're just doing everything out loud. Lastly, there is a crossfader assign. This just allows you to choose whether you want channels one or two on the left and right of the crossfader um, or whether you want to deactivate it. Now let's load in a piece of audio to get familiar with the Serato Play expansion. I've, I'm using the Tidal streaming service which can be activated in the settings here and here. I've logged in and then my Tidal playlists show directly within the Serato DJ Lite software. We've got a performance at the end of this video using this playlist here. So if you sign up to Tidal, you could find these exact tracks and follow along with the performance and try and replicate the performance that we have attached at the end of this video and linked at the end. Let's just load one of these tracks in to have a play around with. I used shift and left as a shortcut. You can also click and drag into the player and it will load the track. Let's load another one into the right hand deck. Now, first of all, first shortcut you're going to want to know is the space bar and the enter key. Space bar plays the left hand deck and pauses it. And enter key plays the right deck and pauses it. Next, we want to be able to synchronize the two tracks together because it's hard to manually beat match. Literally, you might as well synchronize the tracks up and then you can use some shortcuts to just nudge the timing and correct the timing. So. To sync tracks, it's Y and T. If you imagine splitting the keyboard in half between this position here. So T syncs the left hand deck with the right hand deck or Y syncs the right hand deck with the left hand deck. Now they are actually both 124 BPM, so they don't necessarily need to be synced, but if we press it, it turns green and syncs the tracks up. Now 
You will probably want to set a hot cue at the start. You'll see I've got a hot cue set up at the start of this track, but I don't have one at the start of this. I've got three hot cues set up on this track here, here, and here, but not at the start. So for basic mixing, I'd recommend having a hot cue at the start. In the performance, you'll see I use these other hot cues that we've got set, but for now, what I can do is click the X button here, and then click number six, and that will set up a new hot cue. I can hold the hot cue and it'll play, let go and it'll go back. If I play the track, I can keep going back to that point. So that's where it's really useful. Next up, we want to be able to blend between the two songs. So if two tracks are playing, let's just play them both. So they're out of time at the moment. We can then use Q and W or P and this and P and O to move the tracks left and right. So if we move this one, they're now in time. And then we can use the arrow keys to blend with the crossfader left and right. You can also cut between the two songs using this button, this button, and this button. That cuts right to the left, all the way to the left, that cuts to the middle, and that cuts all the way to the right. So they're the basic features you really want to get comfortable with. Play and pause on both sides, cutting the crossfader, and blending the crossfader. Once you're comfortable doing that, you then want to think about using some of those mixer features that you find on mixers, the EQs and the filters. The EQ is a split low, mid, high filter. We've got volume controls and then again, filter low, mid, high. So it basically maps out to the entirety of your keyboard. You'll get used to it the more you use them. So if you watch on the screen, if we hold Z, it brings the low down. Hold A, it brings it back up and you can go up and down with the lower frequencies, middle frequencies, high frequencies and the filters. A really neat trick as well is if you hold Alt and then press any of these, it'll reset that parameter back to the center position. So if I'm in the mix and I am end up somewhere and I'm a bit lost because they're all at different positions, if I hold Alt and then scroll across, it resets everything. That's a really cool trick that I've used a few times when I've got a bit lost in all of these settings. Lastly, in the center here, we've got volume controls. As you can see, they're going up and down now for both channels. It depends whether you want to use the up faders and the cross fader or just to start out with, maybe recommend it's a bit simpler to just use this cross fader to blend back and forth. Moving up, the hot cues that I mentioned, we've got one, two, three, which are the three, or one, two, three, four, sorry, which are four hot cues on the left-hand side and six, seven, eight, nine, which are the hot cues on the right-hand side. If we hold Alt and press 1, it activates the loop. We can activate and deactivate it. If we hold Alt and 2, we can half the loop down to one beat or double it with Alt and 3. So you can choose a loop length, activate it. You could even change it while it's active. We can get tracks in time using these nudge buttons. And then I'll just filter that out. And let's just filter the other one. So they're the basic features that you'll want to get familiar with and use to perform some really nice clean sets with just Serato Play, Serato DJ Lite, and your keyboard. So there it is, Serato DJ Lite, Serato Play expansion. It's a really cheap and fun and easy way to get started uh, just mixing some tunes and actually putting together some quite interesting sets. If you want to get inspired and check out the performance video that I mentioned, then click the link. It should be available. Um, and if you want to follow along, sign up to Tidal and try and just get the tracks and just keep watching and trying to replicate what we do in that performance. It's a really good way to learn and to get started. The natural next step for DJs after using just software is to get some actual hardware. The DDJ SP3 is a really good place to get started with Serato DJ. It plugs and plays with Serato DJ Lite and then those features that you've been using actually map out to buttons and pads and knobs instead, which make it much more tactile and easy to really use. 
Um, this then you can upgrade to Serato DJ Pro and unlock way more features. If you're watching this video within sort of the week or so of it being uploaded, then we're running a giveaway at the moment, giving away a DDJ SB3, as well as all of our online DJ courses, the Serato Beginner, Intermediate, Advanced, and Scratching course. It's worth a lot of money, all as a package. We can't wait to give this away to someone. It's a perfect way to get started and turn into an advanced DJ with all of this online tuition as well. To enter, all you need to do is click the link and sign up with an email and your name. You'll get entered into a raffle, which will then, the winner will be announced at the end of this 12 days of Christmas period that we're currently in. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you in another tutorial video very soon.